Wow. Yeah. It's about all I can say when I start to think about Sonic Hedgehog 2. I don't even know really where ever to begin. And, like, anything meant cinema to me, it's Sonic the Hedgehog 2, hands down. I mean, like, this film to critics is the equivalent to ads that say, when weird trick, doctors hate them. But hey, everyone is entitled to an opinion, even if they are wrong. So, we've all seen the roller coaster ride up to this point in the film, and fans started to become a bit skeptical when the early review scores started to hit Rotten Tomatoes. While these were really early review scores, it did have a lot of fans heading to Twitter to talk about them and express their concern for the film while still keeping an optimistic mindset. I was one of the very many Sonic fans who went into this film with a mindset this is a Sonic the Hedgehog film through and through. From the trailers to the advertisement of the film, it screamed, this is the movie you've been waiting for your whole life, Sonic fans. Go watch it. And as soon as I saw the early access event, I just had to pick up a ticket. Come April 6th, I finally arrived at the AMC theater, got the Sonic and Tails promo cups, an exclusive poster and comic variant of IDW issue number one, grabbed myself a drink, sat down, and waited in expense. And let me tell you how eye-opening it is to not only be in a room getting ready to see an early screening of a movie you've been waiting two years for, being surrounded by 50 people all wearing a piece of Sonic merchandise, because I honestly had no idea there were so many people in my area that cared about this guy. Like, where was everyone when I was growing up? Literally all my friends either cared more about Mario or played Call of Duty. Seriously, where were you? As the lights dimmed and the movie began to play, it all just felt like a dream. There was so much that this film had to offer, and it just kept hitting and hitting. All the expectations I went into the theater with had been far from satisfied, but like the film completely knocked them all out of the ballpark. I'm not the first one to say this, and I definitely don't think I'll be the last one to say this, but this film is THE Sonic movie. If you ever once just sat down and thought what Sonic would be like in a live-action scenario, this movie just gives you that and then some. Now I know I sound like I'm giving this film too much praise and I may be coming off a bit biased considering it is a movie about Sonic the Hedgehog and being a big fan of the franchise, obviously. But I just don't know how else to say it. I've seen so many people compare the sequel to the hype that people have for Marvel movies and that alone still blows my mind because this movie gives you a lot. You'll definitely have to watch it at least more than once to get a full appreciation for the film, but watching it again makes you want to watch it again. They squeeze so much into the film within two hours and still leaves me wanting more. And I'm glad that we're getting more. I honestly think this film has made me more excited for the upcoming Knuckles series for Paramount Plus than I was when I first saw it was announced. Even the human characters are great. Yet again, another thing that the live-action CGI hybrid films fails to get right majority of the time. Now, I know a lot of people have criticized the sequel for spending a bit more time around the humans, not as much time as they did in the first film, but honestly, I didn't really have much of a problem with it. As I'm fully aware, there are quite a few people who don't have a problem with it either. Sure, there is a slow moment in the film, but it only complements the first movie so much more because of the fact that these moments are slow just like in the first film. I would much rather them have a slow scene with a human character rather than show them on screen for less than 15 seconds and then just banter on to what Sonic and Tails are doing. Which sounds kind of condescending, but in reality, if you're going to show the human character for less than even a minute, then there's really no point in them being in the movie. But aside from the human characters, the characterization of both Tails and Knuckles are fantastic. There is a bit about Tails that I do have a slight problem with, and I won't go too much into detail, considering this is spoiler free. But Knuckles quickly became my favorite character. And to be completely honest, this is why. If you know, you know. Knuckles isn't a dim-witted character. He's not dumbed down in any way and is perfect just the way he is. Movie Knuckles is legit the best Knuckles hands down and you can fight me about that because I can't see him any other way. He's so lovable and so humorous, literally every moment Knuckles was on screen, I just felt more and more excited to see what would happen. Robotnik is back and he's better than ever before, more menacing and more visually appealing. While I've seen some people dislike how exaggerated Jim Carrey was with the role, honestly it really fits the character and while most of the stuff that he does in the film feels like it'd be a bit weird to see in the video games, at the same time it honestly captures what I think Robotnik would be like Either way, let's not forget about Agent Stone though, he's a highlight of the movie. 
Agent Stone is an even more lovable character in this film than he was in the first. Not saying that he wasn't lovable in the first, but you get what I mean. Being an underling to Robotnik and looking up to him, whether it be from pure love or just pure inspiration, neither is seen wrong. And the affection he shows Robotnik in the film will drive just about anyone who ships the two characters go wild because it's just truly endearing and really put a smile on my face with what they had in store. The film compared to the first one is leagues better in each and every way. It expands more on the lore of the Sonic universe and does it in a way where even the general audience can understand. And this is only just the beginning of possibly plenty more films to delve into this lore that's based on the classic games and truly gives new light to them. The film starts off a bit slow, but quickly lets the action creep up. And when the action hits, it hits. And it hits harder than Knuckles punching through a stone wall. There's so many twists and turns offered in this movie that as a Sonic fan, it has really opened my eyes to a lot of things that I either missed or just didn't even think about while playing the game or watching the movie. Now that I've seen this film twice with the third viewing planned, I can for sure say that Paramount and Sega have really outdone themselves. They went all out for this movie, and it's a movie that you're not going to want to miss out on. It's the perfect film to start off on, even if you're not a Sonic fan. Even though I'd recommend watching the first one before this one just to get more familiar with the human characters, but starting off here is just as fine if you want all the action and more from a Sonic film. And with the post credits scene and what they have planned for Sonic the Hedgehog 3, I think this new shining era for Sonic will definitely go down in history. As I do fully believe that Sonic the Hedgehog 2 will be the stepping stone for Hollywood to make great video game movies. <laughs> Final. Sonic the Hedgehog 2 is cinema. And yes, I'll die on that hill. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to leave a like, share with friends, family, your dog, maybe even your hedgehog. Actually, don't share it with your hedgehog. Their ears are very sensitive to the the sound of the letter S, so I, you know, I don't want them to get scared or anything. But if you share it with your cat, I'm sure they'll enjoy it too, maybe. Comment down below if you've seen Sonic the Hedgehog 2. And if you have, please don't spoil it for people in the comments. That's not cool. And if you haven't, what are you still doing here? Go watch it, dude! Be sure to subscribe and click that notification bell so you'll be able to keep up with more content like this or just more content in general from me. Thanks again, and I'll catch you guys in the next.